Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is all about this look right here. I tried out a Korean brand called Theodalia with their new foundation line and they have like every single colour you can choose. Like there's like 12 different colour shades or something. And I'm going to show you guys like my impressions of it, first impressions I guess. But yeah, I had a really good time filming this and um, yeah, I very much am impressed. But I'm not gonna spoil the video, you guys can see it for yourself. I am so excited because, you know, I live in Korea and finding foundation that matches me can be very much, you know, impossible. And so I was so happy when I found out that Theodalia, they have foundations for like literally every colour. They have like 12 different colour shades I think. There was so many. I was like over the moon when I found out and I went straight to the shop to try on like which foundation would match me and it was so, it was actually hard to pick between a few because there was so much choice. I was like in heaven. So this is the shop slash cafe and this is their flagship so they have everything available to try. Their whole collection is there. The colours I was really impressed by, they look like they can suit a lot of different skin tones and it's just very nice, I liked. I found my colour and this is, this is the foundation. Uh, the name for this colour is TW3 that I'm trying out and the packaging is so cute as well, oh my gosh. Like it's very much um, kind of luxurious and because I bought it in the shop it came with this like little holder thing and sponge which I think is very cute too. I also have this little sample of lipstick, which is actually a very nice colour. So I'm excited to try this out as well. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get into making the makeup look with this foundation. I'm so excited. So first I'm going to start with my skincare base. <laughs> So that's my skincare done. I just went through it really quickly because today is not about skincare, it's about the foundation. But it is extremely important to make sure you have a good base of skincare on, make sure your face is well hydrated and um, yeah, so that the foundation cannot like get all bumpy or, or like get onto the crusty parts of your skin, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna go in with the foundation. Um, she told me that because there's like a blend of like the skincare inside here, it's got the, is, is it a Dahlia plant I think? It's got something in there that's like a natural ingredient, so the foundation tends to separate so you have to be careful. So I'm just trying to mix that around and um, yeah, I do love the packaging, it's pretty cute, a little luxury. I love the gold accents on there. So that's the colour. And I think it's a very good match for me. This colour is called, um, which one is it? TW3. So it's like a warm undertone. Okay. Mm. It's very much like, um, I would say, a satin finish. Let me just blend this out. <laughs> it's definitely more of a satin finish. And like, so it's very lightweight. I'm gonna test if it's buildable later on. <laughs> ah, I really like this. Okay, so. As you can see, it's very smooth. It's very silky. I like, I like, I definitely like it. Like it was able to cover up my blemishes, but you can still see a few. But it's definitely like kind of mattifying but it's still kind of dewy this is the side with nothing on as you can see i'm gonna apply it to the next side i'm happy i like this foundation i think i got the right color for sure it's easily buildable and it's not cakey it's super lightweight because one thing i really loved about like korean makeup um channels is like the foundation that they use it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look like dry it's always like the right amount of 
um, dewiness and like satin. That is what this has definitely. So this is what it looks like. It's now night time, I was filming a bit too late for the daylight, but I think it matches me really well. And um, yeah, I'm still so shook that this is a Korean brand. I'm going to apply a bit more to kind of see how it does when you layer up. So I'm going to put more up here because I have quite a few blemishes. Wow, that was incredibly rude. My camera just stopped recording um, while I was explaining some things, but I basically, I went ahead and put a bit more on my forehead to cover my um, scarring up there. And it's been a couple minutes and the foundation has really like settled into my skin really well. It, um, it didn't oxidize that much, which was also really good. I'm just ca casually covering my birthmark but it does have really good buildable coverage so if you do have like some discoloration and you don't want to use concealer per se I definitely would recommend this because I have a bunch of like acne not acne scarring but I just always get scars whenever I get the teeniest little blemish so I have all of that on my forehead and um, it's covered that pretty well. And also one thing about me is like, I don't wear foundation. Usually, I usually just go for a lightweight concealer, but this is like, it's really nice. Like it doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin. It feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel sticky. Like it just melts into your skin. It's melted into my skin. And yeah, it just blends really well. It's very smooth as you can see. And it's like a silk satin silk satin <laughs> i think it's a satin finish um because it's still maintaining a bit of dewiness on my skin um but it's not oily it's not oily at all i like this so i'm gonna go ahead and create a cute kind of springtime look for you guys um i'm not gonna go and explain this i'm just gonna put some nice calming music on and you can watch me do my makeup but overall this foundation is great Yes, I like. <laughs> off with using their little cute little tiny sample lipstick this is the paradise dream velvet lip liqueur in what's the color called i think it's called october i'm not too sure i'm gonna confirm it's so tiny oh my god i feel like it's a lip tint because it's very 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 sheer the only thing is i feel like i have this color in like like three different versions of this color <laughs> that's different lipsticks mm, i think it complements the makeup look quite well okay so my camera keeps not recording but i'm gonna try and get through this very quickly so my overall impression of the foundation is i really like it it's um kind of sheer but it's buildable very buildable and it's not cakey at all very lightweight and it just feels really good. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my face. And I even went on and put a bit of tart, um, concealer on. It still doesn't feel heavy. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it matches my skin very well. Like, it's, it's, it's very much my colour. And um, yeah, I'm very happy that I can finally buy foundation here. And I think it's taking a step in the right direction maybe we'll start seeing other brands branching out with more colors because they realize people are more than just three different colors if even um yeah i really love this foundation and i am someone who doesn't even wear foundation much but i approve like the reason i don't like wearing foundation is because usually it just doesn't look good on me it looks too cakey or just weird but this color matches really well and like the formula is really good like it's not heavy 
and it's a little bit um a little bit dewy but it's not like it's not oily it's very nice i love it <laughs> Yeah, I definitely recommend it. The Adalia. What is the name of the foundation? Skin Paradise Sheer Silk Foundation. That is literally it. And I did say sheer silk by accident before, but that's what they call it as well, so I was correct. I definitely recommend it for you guys. Check out the range. They have a lot of colours. I'm sure they have your colour as well. My colour again is T3W. So for you girls who have the same shade as me, that's what I'm using. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. Um, do like follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel because I will be updating twice weekly or once a week. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, check out everything because I also do self-development manifestation content for you guys who are into the spiritual and the woo-woo. I also do tarot readings and stuff. So yeah, I'm still working on that. But soon it will be launching. So do wait for that too. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can start doing some group tarot readings on here for you guys. That would be really exciting. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>